let's go ahead and take a look at another example. In this example, we are talking about uh, the expense of uh, living in two different cities. Now, your problem says London and New York are among the most expensive cities worldwide for business travelers. On the basis of average costs per day for each city, uh, which includes the costs of business class lodging and three meals, two days in London and three days in New York cost uh, $2,099, uh, dollars, while four days in London and two days in New York will cost uh, 200, sorry, $2,586. We need to find out what is the average cost per day for each city, okay? So they're uh, giving us the information of how much it costs to live in the two cities in terms of two days in London and three days in New York will add up to give you $2,099. Four days in London and two days in New York will cost you uh, $2,586. So let's go ahead and assign our variables first. For London, we will go ahead and use L as our variable. Now, if you choose to use X and Y, that is fine too. I just like to use variables that will associate with the um, unknown, so it's just easy for us to look at it and know what we're talking about. So L will represent the average cost per day for London and for New York we will use N to represent the average cost. Okay. Now after you assign your variables, you need to come up with your system of equations. Now in this example, it's actually pretty straightforward. They are telling you two days in London and three days in New York, so you can use that as two days in London, which will be 2L, and three days in New York, which will be 3N, costs you two thousand ninety nine dollars so that is the total of spending uh, you know how much ever time you did two days in London and three days in New York in the same way you can come up with your second equation in your system and the information here is two days in New York and four days in London cost you twenty five eighty six so that is four days in London and two days in New York will cost you Twenty-five, eighty-six. Okay. Once you set up your uh, system of equations in this form, now you can go ahead and use any one of the methods that you find easier to work with. If you want to use, um, you know, graphing would probably be a little bit too hard in this sort of uh, example. I would recommend using um, substitution or maybe elimination. And I think elimination would be the easier one to work with here. So um, go ahead and you know try this example by using elimination and see uh, how that works for you. Okay, so the first thing we want to do here is you want to try and decide which variable you want to get rid of. Okay, uh, you can try and use. Um, eliminate L if you want to do that or you can eliminate N. Let's say we want to go ahead and eliminate um, L here, okay? So if you look at the coefficients on L, you have a positive 2 and a positive 4. Now if you want to eliminate L, you have to first find a common factor between 2 and 4 and you can see that uh, 4 will go into 2 and 4 of course goes into itself. So to eliminate L, we will have to take our first equation here and multiply it by a negative 2 because, again, remember, you have to have opposite signs to eliminate variables. So we will go ahead and multiply our first equation by negative 2. Okay. And let's see, this will give us negative 4L uh, plus, and sorry, that should be a negative, negative 4L 
minus negative 6n, which equals okay, negative uh, 4,198, okay? All right, let's go ahead and rewrite this problem here. So now our first equation looks like negative 4L minus 6N equals negative 4198. And our second equation, of course, hasn't changed. It stays the same. So that will be 4L plus 2N equals 2586. Right now we can go ahead and add these two equations together and you will see negative 4L, positive 4L will cancel out and you're left with negative 6N plus 2N which will give you negative 4N and that equals, uh, you will end up with, let's see, you have a negative 4198 and a positive 2586. So you subtract the two numbers and we'll of course keep the sign of the greater number and this will give us, let's see, I think it should end up with 1612, okay? All right, so now to find your um, N, which again, remember, is the average cost of living in New York, you will go ahead and divide both sides by negative 4, and that should give you n equals, again, two negatives become positive. And um, when you divide negative, uh, I'm sorry, 16, 12 by 4, you should end up with um, 403 as your answer. So this amount will actually be in dollars. Um, let's go ahead and say that New York average cost per day is $403, okay? Now that we have the value for N, we need to find what is the average cost per day for living in London. So again, you can use any one of the two equations that you have available here. You can use uh, the first one or the second one. So let's go ahead and look at, uh, let's say we'll use the second equation here to find L. So you have 4L plus 2N equals 2586. And we know that N is 403, okay? So let's go ahead and see what that will be, 4L plus um, 806 equals 2586. And let's see, you will go ahead and move your 806 over to the other side. And you should end up with 4L equals, uh, let's see, I will give you 0. Eight seventeen eighty. Okay. So again, you can see what we did here. We just go ahead and substitute our n with the value you found out, and go ahead and solve for l. Now let's see what do we end up with here. You have four l equals. 1780. You will go ahead and divide by 4 on both sides and let's see what you end up with. Again, remember this will be in terms of a dollar amount. All 
right? So that should give us, and hopefully my calculations are correct, and that should end up giving us 4 uh, 45 as the average cost per day for a business traveler in London. Okay, so for London, your average cost Right, so there you go. You have your New York and your London average cost. So you just have to see what kind of information you have available and how to set up your application uh, problem, you know, using your system of equations. And again, if you want to uh, try and check your answers, you can go ahead and use the average cost for each city and put it back into your original equations that you had set up and make sure that you end up with, uh, you know, uh, 2099 for two days in London and three days in New York, and uh, with uh, 2586 for four days in London and two days in New York. You can go ahead and check your answers to make sure that both of them work.